morning budget girls and guys or at least it's morning for me uh, I am about to go to work but I uh, I want to show you something real quick I bought some split chicken breasts at the local save a lot a couple of days ago and uh, normally I am such a prude when it comes to chicken I buy the boneless skinless variety whether or not it costs more money I don't like dealing with bones I don't like dealing with skin I'm such a little prissy girl so I saw a sale for 99 cents a pound on split chicken breast which if you if you know sales that's half of what the boneless skinless goes on sale for so I figured if I'm really committed to this budget lifestyle, I really need to give this a shot. Like, I have to figure out how to cook this if I'm going to save half on every pound of chicken that I do. So I did a little online research looking for the easiest way where I had to get the least involved in um, chicken with bone and skin on it. And so I bought five pounds of boneless skin, or <laughs> I've bought five pounds of split chicken breast. It was five dollars, and uh, I tried it last night, and it is so cool what I learned. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So here is my chicken breast. Uh, I I used half last night, kind of as a as a tester, and then I put the rest in here. But what I'm just gonna do is dump this into my crock pot thing. So there we go. I'm going to add salt and pepper and put it on all day on low. That's it. And when I get back tonight, I'm going to show you guys what happens. It's really cool. You're going to love it. All right. Bye. Shook just a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And now I'm going to cover it and put it in my crock pot on low all day. That's it. That's all I have to do. Bye. Hey guys, Budget Girl, and I am back. It's been about 12 hours since I shot the last clip that you just saw this morning. And I am very excited to tell you that my house smells awesome because there's chicken going. So I'm going to show you my what the chicken looks like after going for 12 hours. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of its own juices are all up in there and it's just looking good so now I'm going to show you how to um, get rid of the skin and the bones and get a lot of shredded chicken super cheap without having to mess with a lot of fat and the bones and stuff like that because like I said I'm super prissy when it comes to it so here we go here is the chicken and remember, I only put salt and pepper in this, and the, all that juice is the fat. So um, I put three paper plates out, one for the chicken, one for the shredded chicken, and one for the trash. And I'm going to show you guys how I debone this with as little mess as possible. Two forks and a knife. One, two. Get this sucker out of here. All right, first we need to take off the skin. Okay, it's so tender. Just, it's falling off really. I don't really need forks. It's falling apart. Alright, and dip it in. Yeah, that was even fine stuff. That was just slightly discolored. I just, that's the part I give to Rory. And that is all that's left of that one. And this is all the good, yummy chicken. 
I, I just got from that. And it's, this is all super tender white meat that I can just, with my hand, just tear apart and eat, and it's super good. So, that's from one. It, and it doesn't look nearly as good on ham camera as it does just right here in your face, but that's delicious stuff, and it's all white meat. And this is all that's left. So that's what I originally thought was that if you did split chicken breast, then you're paying poundage for um, the bones and everything. But if you look what's here, it's, it's essentially nothing. Like that's, like there's even one more chicken on there. There you go. Nothing left. That's just, that's, that's a couple of ounces. And I just dump this in the trash. Oh, Rory, she really wants it. And Rory gets the little fat pieces and the skin, which is that's for the puppy. And then we're going to do the other one. The bones are just falling out. Get the skin off. Well, that's entertaining than I thought it would be. There we go. Bones. <laughs> and that just fell off. That entire thing is just like really good meat. So that. A little bit of a bone right there. But what I really like about this is that it's really easy to tell where the bones are and where they aren't. Which is something I've always been super scared of without boneless skinless chicken. And I'm just scared I'm going to eat a bone. That's all there is to it. So, yeah. And with this, it's so tender, I'm not scared I'm going to eat a bone, because I can tell. Alright, I'm going to shred. That's all that's left of that one. And I'm just going to hand shred this. And it's going to be just a huge amount. Now, I also say, hi, Bobo! I did this with the other half of the package yesterday. And I ended up with this huge quart size of shredded chicken. Now, I, I, I kind of packed it in there. But this is going to be ready whenever I need shredded chicken. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper than... Well, pretty much anything else is going to be with this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, and I'm just going to pour this on Rory's food. I'm going to take that bone out of there, pour it on Rory's food, and she's going to be the happiest dog on the planet. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe you aren't a wimp like me, and you've always deboned your own chicken. Or maybe you are like me. But this is the easiest way I've seen so far. I'm not scared of eating bones. I'm not scared of... Um, and it's a lot cheaper than buying either canned chicken, which I do regularly, or... Um, boneless skinless so next time I see the 99 cent sale per pound on chicken breast I'm just gonna pop it in here because that took basically no work at all all right I uh maybe that helped okay uh like and subscribe because I always forget to tell you guys that and um oh like if you think I'm a wimp because of the whole boneless skinless chicken thing or not and uh go to my Facebook because I post all sort of of awesome content there every single day and I wish I could upload videos to YouTube every day but I just don't have the time or the inclination but I do post to Facebook every day so go like me over there facebook.com slash buttergirl YouTube see you guys next time bye